you have radiation five days a week for about six weeks, and then you have to wait about a year after you finish radiation before you can start reconstructive surgery. So at the time I had a little gel implant and, and um, my kids were nine and six at the time and I remember occasionally it would migrate down to my stomach and they'd be like, hey, your chicken cutlet's on your stomach. Um, and I did have a really good sense of humor about things. I mean, I really at that point, even though initially it was not what I had hoped for, um, I definitely think I've always lived my life even before cancer, um, you know, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade or margaritas. <laughs> and so, um, you know, I did try to make the best of it. And so, but because of the damage of the radiation, um, I was going to have to have what's called an expander put in. And so there was a surgery to put the expander in. And I had gone back to my surgeon in Chicago. And when I went into the office, and, and they had really liked me when I was there. Um, and the surgeon was kind of almost like a father to me, you know, I, like I said, I had married a trader and I wanted to get like lip implants and start doing all these things. And he said, you know, you're a really pretty girl. Don't fall into the trap. So he could have just taken my money and, but he really like genuinely took a liking to me. So when I got there, I was so happy to see everybody. He still had all the same office staff 15 years later. And, um, he said, well, let me see what's going on. And I show him, and he said, well, I'm really like teaching at the University of Chicago hospitals now. I'm not really doing construct reconstruction or construct breast augmentation anymore. And I just started crying and he came over and he's like, don't cry, don't cry. And he said, but I just brought in this young doctor from MD Anderson and that's all he does is breast reconstruction. So I'm gonna have him come in and talk to you. And, so I knew the statistics were really, really bad about putting implants in radiated tissue. I didn't have a pocket anymore because of all the scar tissue. And I said, well, I just want to try it because the other methods for reconstruction, um, one of the most pos popular ones is a uh, latissimus where they pull from your axilla area, your underarm and bring it over but that's radiated on me because I had positive lymph nodes, so that wasn't an option. Or they can use your abdomen, but I luckily, I guess, didn't have enough tissue in my fat in my abdomen to make a breast. And I really wasn't interested in sacrificing muscle. I lived, you know, in the foothills, and uh, Mark and I loved to hike in Tahoe. I, I just was really, I didn't want to lose something in my pursuit of a breast. So, we agreed that I'd try that and I had the expander in for a year. And most women, if you're gonna have a problem, it's during the expander because the expander's like not the same as an implant and it actually has a valve on it and they fill it. And so, you know, they have to stretch that scar tissue very, very slowly. Um, and so the process to stretch it took almost a year. And then I went in for an exchange and at that time I did have silicone implants put in.